Hi, welcome to Hymns with Ken. This channel was created in hopes that it would reach those who are shut-ins or simply cannot go to church to participate in corporate worship with other believers. It was also created for the enjoyment of those who just want to listen or sing along with these great and powerful old hymns of the church. My prayer is that you would be ministered to by God's Holy Spirit as you listen. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell so that you will receive notifications of all the updates that I'm able to post. If you would please also give the video a thumbs up and comment if you like the video. These actions will help the channel to become more popular in YouTube and reach an even larger audience with the Gospel of Christ. Does Jesus Care? Written in 1901 by Frank E. Graff. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. 1 Peter 5 7. In his book, Lectures to My Students, Charles Haddon Spurgeon devoted a chapter to the ministering fainting fits, warning his students of the dangers and discouragement and depression in the ministry. The chapter begins, Fits of depression come over the most of us. The strong are not always vigorous, the wise not always ready, the brave not always courageous, and the joyous not always happy. That observation is perfectly illustrated by Rev. Frank Graff, the Methodist minister who wrote this hymn. Frank was born in 1860 in northeastern Pennsylvania. When he entered the ministry, one of his greatest assets was his cheerful disposition. While pastoring in the Philadelphia area, he was dubbed the Sunshine Minister because of his radiant personality. He had a special way with children who were drawn to his simple faith and perpetual smile. But as Surgeon said, the joyous are not always happy. A series of heartbreaks shattered his spirits, and Frank Graff found himself in the unfamiliar valley of deep depression and despondency. His gloom became as great as the bliss he had previously enjoyed. At length, he collapsed into the everlasting arms and found himself singing, Joseph Scriven's old hymn, What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. The truth of 1 Peter 5-7 suddenly took hold of him, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Out of that experience, Frank wrote, Does Jesus Care?, with its series of commonly asked questions, followed by a resounding reply, Oh, yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the days are weary, the long nights dreary, I know my Savior cares. How do we cast our cares on the Lord, who cares for us? The secret is found in the word cast. Commit your burden to the Lord. Give it over to Him. Who cares even more than you do? And who has the power to do what you cannot? Ask for His help in prayer. Philippians 4 tells us to be anxious about nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication to let our needs be known to the Lord. Search the scriptures. God has a promise for every need. Trust Him, for He does care for you.